the Octavia VRS, potent 2 litre TSI engine, a very capable gearbox and the handling is also there to back it up. But there are a lot of problems with it, three in specific. It's front wheel drive, the prices in the used car market are ridiculous and it's still a Skoda at the end of the day. But what if I told you that there is a solution to all of those problems? Enter the BMW 330i. If you, buy a, if you want to buy a new G20 330i, it's more or less the same price as a VRS 245. But in the used car market, uh, F Series 330i is, I would say, cheaper than a VRS 230 or even a 245. And well, this is a rear wheel drive car and it's from a mainstream luxury car maker. So some people have to put some respect on that name. And well, this is the driver's hub. So just like other videos, this one has been put up to stage two. So even if they're not going to respect you, once you pull up at the lights, this thing is definitely going to smoke you. Now before we hop into the mods and all the performance of this car, I want to quickly touch upon the design and looks. And if you follow me on my personal Instagram, you know that I'm a sucker for F33 series. And well, this is basically my holy grail. This car has been painted in this beautiful color of nerdy grey. It's basically like a shade of Nardo grey, but since it's BMW, you have to change the name. You get the M kit alloys, which look absolutely beautiful. You get the proper M kit uh, body kit as well with the side skirts and everything. The bumper, rear bumper has also been changed and you get these two fat exhaust. And you get the quintessential boot lip spoiler, which every BMW this owner needs to get and the owner did the proper M performance mirror caps as well. The BMW F33 series has to be one of the prettiest looking 3 series ever. With the proportions spot on, no massive kidney grills anywhere and most of the vents, lines and protrusions having some sort of an effect on the car, the F30 has to be one of the most timeless BMWs of all time. Even this, the normal 330i looks so aggressive but not over the top. And when it comes to the F80 M3, it has to be one of the best looking sports sedans ever, period. So now in the engine bay, if you start looking around, you won't really find any of the mods that we're talking about. But a key and I will find out that there's a BMC air filter sticker right over here because this thing is running a BMC air intake, it's running an Automec downpipe and it's running M3 spark plugs. And then combine all of that together with Mosselman stage 2 tune, this thing makes around 320 horsepower and around probably 500 newton meters of torque. And that's very impressive for a 2 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder. That's almost around a 70 horsepower gain over a stock 330i. Now you must be thinking, well, what's the difference between the normal 320i, 328i and this, the 330i? Well, quite a big one actually. Even though all of those cars have what seems to be the same 2-litre turbo engine, they are actually quite different. The 320i and 328i get the older and less competent N20 engine. The BMW 330i on the other hand, which replaced the 328i, gets the more potent B48 engine, which in turn produces more power and is the most widely used engine in the BMW group, being used from a normal Mini Cooper hatchback to the latest G20 330i to even the 2-litre GR Supra. The improvements to the engine like the block and heads being made from aluminium mean for more aggressive tuning potential. Now the first thing that you notice when you hop inside this 330i is the driving position. It's one of the best driving positions that you can get in a class like this. I mean it's point and shoot, the seating is perfect, the steering wheel is in the perfect position and your visibility is absolutely amazing. Then comes the steering wheel itself. Well, it's not the proper M Sport steering wheel with the cool little shark fin type paddle shifters but it's a really nice steering wheel uh, in general. The grip is perfect, the paddle shifters are in the right place and the paddles themselves very responsive. The gearbox is very responsive and another cool thing is that the Magnaflow exhaust system when you uh, let off the throttle on the over and the pops and bangs are just addictive. Now this engine feels very similar to a 2 litre DSi because at the end of the day it's still a 2 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder but first of all this exhaust like I said 
sounds absolutely amazing and i feel like the power delivery is just a little bit different this thing is more active in the lower revs is what i feel maybe it's the mod if you want to spool up from let's say 1500 rpm this will do it no problems at all but i think so the best part about the 330i more than anything else the engine the driving position is that it's rear wheel drive i mean a lot of people overlook this car for some reason everyone's behind the octavia vrs they're basically on the hype train of the octavia vrs whereas this is basically better than an octavia vrs in my opinion i mean it's it has the proper sports car credential it's rear wheel drive it's front engine and well i can't see in any sort of way that an octavia vrs can be more fun to drive than a 330i yeah maybe the aftermarket support for an octavia vrs is much better than a 330i but i mean the sheer driving pleasure as we have always states is there in this 330i as well the interior of this 3er is as you would expect simple yet functional the i drive system is very simple and intuitive because of the scroller wheel you have multiple driving modes ranging from eco pro to sport plus and can be accessed via the mode selector on the center console the dials are very simple and analog which maintain that classic bmw feel the seats door trim and dashboard pieces are just a tiny bit different to other normal 3ers since this is the 330i and the m sport variant i mean in any sort of way that you want to look at it a 330i is more fun than an octavia vrs because it's rear wheel drive i mean an octavia vrs even if you do an all wheel drive conversion do whatever you want it's still going to be predominantly front wheel drive bias so when you're attacking a corner hard or whatever you're doing it will tend to understeer whereas this rear wheel drive attack a corner a bit too hard you'll get some nice oversteer and that's proper sports car pedigree i think people don't give the 330i enough credit because well I don't know why people just don't look at it and they're cheaper than an Octavia VRS they're as good as to they're better to drive than an Octavia VRS yes maybe the running costs are a little bit higher than a Skoda but I mean that's a little price to pay for the amount of fun that a 330i can give you And well on that bombshell I would like to say if you're in the market to buy a 2 liter turbocharged car which is more fun to drive than an Octavia go for this and well this car comes in a lot of different variants as well you can get a bmw 320i a 328i and a 330i but the 330i is special because first of all you get the proper m kit you get some better brakes and well the suspension also is a little bit different so if you want the full full package of affordable f30 the 330i is the place to go